Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a beer review. Tonight I've got something that's kind of interesting. Now they sold, they're selling out of this really quickly, and I had to jump on this because Cabin out of Calgary here, when they have these type of beers, they sell out. This bad boy right here is something that I managed to grab because I wanted to have it. This is a double Nipa called Super Juicy. And this is not just from Cabin. This is actually from Kilter Brewing out of Winnipeg. And they did a collaboration. Winnipeg has got their own. Calgary's got their own. I think they brewed it in their separate tap rooms, but shared the recipe. So basically it's Kilter's flagship IPA with Cabin Brewing's flagship pale ale to make a double NEPA coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. Now, I like collaborations. If you do collaborations right, you're gonna have some great things happen. So here's hoping that this is just that. So why don't we get into it and have a look and see what we've got, shall we? And already it's looking juicy. That's with two eyes. So what we've got here is a, I want to say grapefruit colored beer, because if you were, if grapefruit was, yeah, grapefruit juice kind of looks ha like that color. It's got that sort of dark, sort of hazy orange. We've got two and a half, almost three fingers worth of head there. And wow, wow, that looks beautiful. The smell, I got a lot, I got a little tropical, grapefruit, and I want to say dankness. And for the people that don't like the word dank, it's like smelling weed. Get over it. Yeah, I went down that path. I'm sorry. I am only giving you guys a hard time but it smells delicious. Oh, does it ever. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. There's a breadiness in there. And you do have those tropical notes. Touch of bitterness, but not overly bitter. So the super saturation from Cabin Brewing, they have a little bitter afternote. And if you're not quite sure, I do believe I've got the super saturation review on my YouTube page. Just do a search for it. Either there, I'll link it down below and you get to see it. But that's really smooth. A mouthfeel is a nice medium mouthfeel. Oh, wow. I only bought three of these. What was I thinking? I should have bought more. That is delicious. It does have a little bit of that greenness in the, like it's, it's fresh, but wow, that is really delightful. That's something I can get down with a lot of. Oh man. Oh man, that's good. That's really good. Oh. That's that's a a, a double NEPA, double I well, I, I call it an IPA almost, but yeah. The collaboration between the two is that's stellar. I really do like that. That's a great collab. I could drink this all day. Alcohol is not even present there. It's light. Like, it's a, a nice light beer. Body's nice, but the way I... The way I can describe light is basically that it's not feeling filling. Like, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fill me up. Like, I could drink this and it's still... It's delicious. Like, it's it's got that... You gotta try it in order to really understand this beer. 
Yeah. Wow. Wow. It is juicy. It is delicious. It is. That's that's really 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 well done. Well, I think I've said well done, nice, and everything else many times over, so I'm going to continue drinking this off camera. Have you had this one before? Uh, if you have, then you've had it within the last couple of days. And for the, my fans out in Winnipeg, what do you guys think of this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? People in Alberta, do you like it? Do you not like it? Well, I guess Calgary. I don't know if it's going to all over Alberta. It might. I didn't see. I just saw it came to Collective, and I had to jump on it and get it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear from you guys. For now, I am Dan, aka the Western Canadian Reviewer, saying cheers, stay frosty, we'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining, and we will see you for another video coming soon. You guys have yourselves a wonderful and safe 